Okay, today we're going to do a science demonstration in which we make observations. And what we're going to do is we're going to be observing or taking a look at different balls and their physical properties. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take some notes. And I have the balls grouped in different categories. So if you guys want to each take one of group A, one of type A, just pick up a ball. And there's three things we're going to test about the ball. The thing we're not going to test about the ball today is does it bounce. Okay, so no bouncing the balls. The first thing we're going to test is its flexibility. Can we squeeze it or not? Ow. What do you think? <laughs> okay, now if you can't squeeze it, we use the word rigid to describe something that you can't squeeze. So let's circle the word. That's, right, but that not, not, you can't squeeze it in half, right? Okay. So let's circle the word rigid for group A because that describes all the balls in group A are rigid. So what we have some ping pong balls here, some empty golf balls. Okay, those are all good. So the next thing we want to try and observe is what do you think is inside? What's the filling inside of these balls? What do you think? Air. Air, very good. A lot of kids are going to guess nothing is inside, but there can't be nothing. There always has to be something. And you can even see through this one, you see that there's air inside. So very good. So let's write the word air for group A, and I have that word spelled out so the kids can see how to spell it. I do this with the first graders. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a prediction. Do you know what a prediction is? It means we're gonna make a guess. And I want you to guess, do you think your ball is going to sink or float? Float. Float, what do you think, Ellie? Float. Float, okay, we're gonna test it. Ready? We'll drop it in here. One, two, don't drop it, don't, don't drop it high. Place it in gently. One, two, three. And look, even though that went down a little bit, even that floated, all of these floated. Uh, so that's very good, and that's because they're filled with air. Air is very, very light and less dense than water, so it's gonna float. So let's write for group A that all of them, they float. They float, and it's good to have a towel set up so that you could dry this off. It's also very good if uh, you remove the balls from the water to try and keep them nice and dry. Okay, how about group B? Yeah, Let's grab a ball from group B. These uh, cat toys or practice uh, baseballs are good for group B balls. Okay, now what's the first thing we're going to test? Rigid. Can you squeeze it? Is it flexible, like you could squeeze it in half? No, it's pretty rigid. So let's write, let's circle rigid for group B. And now what do you think is inside there? Foam. Totally foam. Yeah, it's kind of like an airy, fluffy, uh, an airy, fluffy rubber like this. I cut one in half and you can see. Oh, so that So we could describe that as foam. Oh, that just gives out the whole answer. So let's write the word, yeah, but that's good. Let's write the word foam. Let's write the word foam for group B because that describes what's inside. And last question is, what's your prediction? Is it gonna sink or float? You think? Okay. Smiling. Let's try. I don't know. Let's try. Don't drop it. Just place it gently. Oh my gosh. It does. So foam is very light and fluffy. It's got a lot of air in it. So that also makes the balls float. Very good. These get very wet over time. So it's good to try and dry them off the best you can and let them dry well afterwards. Okay. Let's pick up our next one. Let's pick up the next one. So in here we have some racquetball, some racquetball, some chew toys. That kind of thing. So what do you think? What's our first one? Can you squeeze it? Flexible. Yeah, so this we describe as flexible if you can <laughs> squeeze something. And if you want to do a racquetball, you have to be super strong if you want to see that it's flexible. But it's flexible. Let's circle flexible for group C. Wait, wait a second. Okay. Okay, now what do you think is inside? Air. air. Yeah, air. In fact, on some way. of them with a hole, you can even hear the air getting squeezed out and if you when you squeeze your eye, it. Make it yes. Okay, and what do you think? Is it? Do you think? And in fact, look, I have a racquetball that's cut in half, and you can see that it's hollow inside, so it's just filled with air. Okay, very good. Now, what's our last question? It does it float? Or We're going to predict if it's going to float or sink. What do you think? Float. What do you think, Andy? I'd say float. How about the racquetball, then? It's pretty heavy. Ready? Go ahead. You want to try it? Put yours in here too. Yeah. They all float. There it is again because it's filled with air and yep, air is so very, so far, very light. Everything, everything floated. Look at that. How interesting. Okay, let's look at group C. This is a different kind of 
Well, let's grab one here. Here, I have a bunch of... No. Oh, thank you, D. So here I have some golf balls and super balls, yeah. all sorts of things like that. Okay, some with fun, so, you know, it's nice to get ones if you have pictures inside or this has little stars inside because then you can kind of see what's inside. So what's our, what's the answer to our first question? What's the first observation we're going to make? Flexible, rigid. rigid. Flexible or rigid. rigid? It's rigid, very good. That means you can't squeeze it. So these are rigid. And what do you think is inside? There's nothing, in, well, there is something inside, but it's not any of these. I don't know. It's not air. It's rubber. not foam. It's rubber. So just like this, you can see that those little confetti well, things are trapped in it's there. It's sort of like I've seen the inside of a golf ball, but it's... Well, some golf balls, you're right, are filled with different things. But uh, but most of them have a rubber core. And I just dropped one because I have a super ball that I cut in half. Look, you can see there's rubber inside. It looks like a big eraser, doesn't it? So there's rubber inside these, go works. these super balls. Yeah. Okay, so let's write the word rubber, and that's spelled out on your handout as well. R U B B E R. Oh, I know that's going to sink. Okay, and what do you think? Sink or float? Sink. Wait, I think it'll float. Anyone who's ever played golf knows the answer to this question. But how about the other ones? Let's see. You ready? Yeah. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Hey, mine floated. Hey, look at that. Some of them sank and some floated. So it depends on what kind of rubber they have. So let's write some sink as a way to describe group D balls because they don't all do the same thing. Some sink and some float. All right, and here's our last group. Here's our last group. Let's oh. grab a couple of these. So here I have some pool. Uh, some pool Yay. toy balls and Oops. some I got the earth baseballs, those kinds of things, squishy balls. But what do you find out about all these <gasps> right off the bat? They're flexible. They're flexible because we can squeeze them. Okay, so they're flexible. Let's write. Let's circle the word flexible for group E. Let's circle the word flexible. And what do you think is inside? Foam. Um, foam because it's pretty squishy but it feels like there's something inside and in fact look I cut this one I cut a chunk out of here look hey, Ellie you can see we, we it's kind of that foam. airy foamy stuff kind of fluffy foam so it's kind of like rubber but it's got a lot of air mixed we play in. With those. Yeah. <laughs> okay so last question what's your prediction? Float. What do you think Andy sink or float? Ready? They all float. Because that foam, even if you fill it with water, there's still air in there, and it's going to float. That's a good test, though. It's on the bottom. So. It's, uh, I don't think my water is deep enough, but I think this still kind of still floats. So good job. So let's, let's write that down. And then what a fun thing you can do as a last exercise is you can have, is you can have some random balls and then, just, and then just give them one of them. Like if I gave you this one and said, which group do you think it belongs to? And see if you can categorize it, test it, compare okay. it with your notes. Is it flexible or rigid? And what is it filled with? And then you can decide what group it belongs to. So that's kind of a, a nice exercise in categorizing too. It's A, very good, very good. All right, so thanks for uh, exploring some chemistry, making observations. So it's something that's very important for scientists is they have to use their eyes and they have to watch everything around them and take careful notes when they, when they uh, observe something. So we had some really good practice with that today. So thanks for having some fun with science and we'll see you soon.